Please join me in a reflection as we begin today's celebration. Dear God, we are thankful for these graduating students who are with us today, if not in physical presence, certainly in spirit. May they have guidance as they enter the next phase of their lives. May they have wisdom in their decision making. May they encounter great mentors that will teach them and hold them accountable for every action as they enter the workforce. And may they go out into the world and do great things, guided by their personal set of values and beliefs. Thank you. Greetings and welcome to the 106th celebration of Nichols graduates and the first virtual degree ceremony in the history of Nichols State University. I am Dr. Jay Kloon and I'm honored to be the president of this fine university. Today's celebration is focused on the official awarding of degrees that you have worked so hard to earn. In the near future, when it is safe to do so, we plan on holding a true commencement ceremony where we, along with your family and friends, can celebrate your accomplishments as you walk across the graduation stage. For today, we encourage you to post your celebratory pictures and videos across the different social media platforms using the hashtags NicholsGrad and NicholsStrong. On behalf of the Nichols State University community, I want to say congratulations. Your years of hard work and dedication have paid off. To get here, you had to overcome a global pandemic that upended lives and disrupted the last year of your college experience. When you hear your name called today, don't think about what you have missed. Instead, I encourage you to reflect on all that you have accomplished. Born from this tragedy will be the state's next leaders in nursing, business, education, science, arts, politics, and so much more. You have earned a degree, but you have done more than grow intellectually. You have persevered through a crisis that upended your college experience. You have matured emotionally and socially. Your education will serve you well throughout your life. You forever will have my empathy and my admiration. I also thank you for choosing Nichols State University. This graduating class has uniquely impacted this campus in a way that will reverberate for generations to come. Thank you for helping make Nichols a better place to live, to learn, and to thrive. You are the newest members of the Nichols Alumni Federation and this campus will always be your home. I encourage you to think back to your friendships and your time on campus often. You have a special bond with each other because you have had to overcome this together. On this day, be proud of all you have achieved. Be proud of your degree and know that this isn't goodbye. We will see each other again when I shake your hand as you walk across the stage at commencement later this year. Now, I would like to share some congratulatory messages from your state, local, and regional leaders. To the class of 2020, congratulations on this momentous achievement. I know this isn't the senior year you envisioned and no one can replace the memories you had hoped to share with friends and family during this time. But even though I can't personally shake your hand at graduation, I want you to know how incredibly proud I am of everything that you've accomplished and the persistence that it took to get here. One of the things our fight against COVID-19 has taught us is that we need creative, innovative minds like yours to bring forth solutions and build stronger communities, no matter what challenges come our way. You are the future of Louisiana, and because of you, that future looks bright. One day, when we can all be together again, we will ensure that your class is properly celebrated. But until then, congratulations, class of 2020, and God bless. Congratulations to the 2020 class of Nichols State University. I want to personally tell you I'm very proud of you for completing your studies and getting your degree at this time. I know it's been challenging times, but you are the future of the state of Louisiana. I hope you stay and engage. I hope we have jobs for you that you can fulfill your life dreams here in Louisiana and become productive citizens here. Uh, we are all depending on you. We, we need you for the future. Again, I want to thank you for all that you do. Uh, I want to thank your, your, the people that educated you. I want to thank everybody involved in your education because without y'all, Louisiana would not have a future. Best of luck to all you into the future. Thank you. 
As Commissioner of Higher Education for the great state of Louisiana, graduates of the class of 2020, we want to say congratulations to you. I know that this is not the commencement or the end of your amazing career that you expected, your academic career, but this is the situation that is before you today. Remember that when you are educated, you're adaptable, you're nimble, you're able to think about solutions and move our state and our country forward. So this pandemic will not stop you. It will fuel your amazing work. We see you and we're so very proud of you. We know that your teachers and your faculty, whether you're a high school graduate or a college graduate, have poured into you to support you and your success. We know that you didn't get to this moment alone. You have family members who have cheered you on, who have supported you, who've prayed for you, who've encouraged you and nudged you all along the way. You know, when this pandemic started, I said that our graduates, our class of 2020, would not be a footnote in this pandemic. And indeed, you are not. You are a glimmering, shine, shining example of the hope that we have for the future. You represent solutions that will come. You represent the spirit of our graduates in our great state, uh, able to contribute, students who are able to serve and interested in improving our world. And so as you go forth to do amazing things, know that we walk with you. We're proud of you and we look forward to great things ahead because of you. Class of 2020, congratulations. Go get them. Hi, I'm Marty Schaubert. I wanted to congratulate the class of 2020 on behalf of the Louisiana Board of Regents. I'm chairman of Regents, uh, but not only chairman of Regents, I'm a Nickel State product, born and raised in Chauvin, Louisiana. Uh, went to school there in the 70s and enjoyed a lot of the things that you've enjoyed today. I was a product of SGA. The friendships you're going to form at Nickel State the la or that you have formed the last four years are going to last you a lifetime. I was on the SGA with Judge John Weimer, who's now Supreme Court Justice. Uh, so I wanted to give you a warm, warm welcome, and although you're not going to walk across the stage, you're not going to uh, have to take uh, your exams in class, you have to do everything online, we want to celebrate you, and we want to know that we have not forgot you. So on behalf of the Board of Regents and all the proud Nichols alumni, congratulations, class of 2020. I'm Christine Russell, Lafouche Parish District Attorney, board member of the UO Board of Supervisors, and a 1993 graduate of Nickel State University. To the class of 2020, congratulations. I know many of you may be disappointed that you're unable to walk across the stage, and I am disappointed for you, but nothing will take away the degree you earned and the hard work you put in. And now you are a member of a very elite group, the alumni of Nickel State. And whether you are a non-traditional student with a family at home or a 22-year-old with life ahead of you, you know that life will throw you a curveball. You know that life sometimes will knock you to your knees. We are going through some very trying times. Please know that we are family at Nickel State University. And even though your years here may be done, we are always here for you. So to the class of 2020, go forward, be bold, take chances, be proud of that degree you earned. Be kind to one another. Kindness changes the community that you live in. Above all, go forward and do great things. Congratulations. Hello, Nickel State University class of 2020. My name is Lafouche Parish President Archie Chesson, and I'm here today to say congratulations. Congratulations on reaching that pinnacle of your college career. Whether you're graduating with an associate's degree, a bachelor's degree, or a master's degree, you've reached the end of your college career. And for that, I say job well done. Now, I know this isn't what you thought your senior year would be as we work through this coronavirus pandemic, but just don't get down, stay motivated. I hope to all see you one day crossing that stage, getting your diplomas, and I wish you the best of luck in your future careers. Stay motivated and stay positive. We will get through this pandemic together and it will all make us stronger as a university, as a parish, as a state, and as a country. So again, I say a job well done, congratulations, and go Colonels. I'm Matthew Jewell, president of St. Charles Parish and a proud member of the Nickel State University alumni. It's an honor to congratulate you on officially becoming Nickel State University graduates. Today's a special day, regardless of how or where you're celebrating it. I know today is not how many of you plan to experience your college graduation, but nonetheless, you're here and you've made it. 
You likely had to overcome great feats to get here. Some of you have put yourself through school while working. Some of you may have children. And I'm sure there are some of you who even wanted to give up a few times, but you didn't. You've persevered and it has paid off. That's something to celebrate. Some of you might be nervous about this next chapter of your life. Some of you may be excited. I want you to not worry because Nichols has given you the knowledge and the tools necessary for you to succeed. When that time comes, I encourage you to remember this moment and reflect on the hard work you put in to get here. There will be many times in life where you will be required to put in the same, if not more, dedication and drive to get through. I challenge you all to take those tools and use them to turn your dreams into reality. While you have only reached one goal here today, you are now prepared to reach as many goals as you set forth. I wish all of you much success and congratulations on your graduation. I certainly want to begin by thanking the university for inviting me to be a part of this most memorable occasion. On behalf of the citizens of the city of Thibodeau, I want to take this opportunity to congratulate all of our 2020 graduates on their accomplishments and for now being recognized as an alumni of our university. I stress the fact that Nichols is our university because over the past 72 years it has become a fabric of our community. It is not only an institution of higher learning, but it is also an integral part of the educational, cultural, social, and spiritual attributes that make Thibodeau and the Bayou region the place we love. Although students in our region and across our state have many options relative to which university or college they attend, many of you look to Nichols State as your only opportunity to acquire a degree in higher education. As an alumni and 1980 graduate of Nichols, I can certainly testify that without this university, I would never have had the opportunity to continue my education beyond high school. As a husband and father, I'm proud to recognize my wife Sherry as a 1984 graduate, my daughter Lacey as a 2009 graduate, and finally my son Drew as a 2013 graduate. It is evident that Nichols State has played the most important role in providing my family with the educational base on which to develop a successful career and thereby enjoy the quality of life that we all aspire to attain. More importantly though, is the number of local professionals who graduated from Nichols and have returned to Thibodeau to become the true leaders and motivators in our community. Not only do Nichols alumni have an impact on our community, there are so many that have returned right here to Nichols to give back to the university that has given them so much. During my tenure as mayor of Thibodeau, I've become very astute to what our citizens value in future leaders of our community. And I would like to leave you with a few bits of advice which I know will serve you well. Engage yourself with every challenge as if it were your own. Fellow employees and staff work with you and not for you. Take ownership in everything that you do. Leave every place you work in in better shape than what you found it. But most importantly, all of your decisions should be based on one sound principle, and that is to do the right thing. Again, congratulations on achieving this milestone in your life, and never forget that it was made possible by the awesome little university on the bayou. How about them curdles? Greetings. This is Lafouche Parish Sheriff Craig Weber in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic coming to you via the miracles of modern technology. On behalf of the men and women of the Lafouche Parish Sheriff's Office, and all of the wonderful citizens of Lafouche Parish, we want to congratulate you, the graduates of 2020 from Nichols State University. Personally, as a Nichols alum myself who graduated in 1981, I can tell you that the education and the experience were phenomenal and important in the success in my life. Nichols provided me a great education and a wonderful foundation to build upon. While you should relish the moment of your graduation, don't think of it as the ending, think of it as the beginning. If you're getting an undergraduate degree, consider graduate school. If you're branching out into the work world or perhaps starting a family, 
know that you're going to have an advantage over most people because you have a college degree. It's unique that we're graduating in this way. You can have the distinction of probably being the very first virtual graduation class in the history of not only Nichols University, but I would suspect every university around the country. Nevertheless, your achievements are noteworthy, significant, and, and will carry you well through life. So please, accept this honor that you've earned. And remember, Nichols will always be there for you. Don't turn your back on the opportunity to support that university so many generations to come can have the wonderful same advantages that you have coming to this great community university. Go Colonels. Hello graduates, congratulations on this amazing accomplishment. We've made it, today is our day. I stand with each of you as we look back on our time at Nickel State University and now graduate. Together we have already accomplished so much. We have built multiple friendships, learned numerous lessons from our professors and grown. Our journey as Nickel State University students began at either a Colonel Day or orientation where many of us were lost and confused about what was going on. But soon we came to find that Nichols was the perfect home for each of us. We joined clubs that piqued our interests, made it to the playoffs in several sports, excelled in the classroom, and participated in multiple campus events. We even saw the university become a scooter park for a short amount of time. But most importantly, we gained priceless knowledge from our own experiences inside and outside of the classroom. Although this semester is not exactly how we thought our time as colonels would end, we can rest assured that our time here at Nichols has given us all what we need for our future success. Whether we are going on to graduate school or our careers, each of us is now embarking on a new journey. And I know that the life lessons that we have been given from Nichols State University will stay with each of us throughout our lives. What we have learned here has set us up for success. I wish the best to each of you and congratulations to the class of 2020. Good afternoon, my name is Katherine Mobile. I'm a 2014 graduate and the current Director of Alumni Affairs, and I would like to congratulate the class of 2020. These last few months are not what we had in mind for you as a way to end your senior year, and we can't even begin to imagine what it is that you were going through. But you have shown just how strong you truly are in the face of adversity. On behalf of the Nichols Alumni Federation, I would like to welcome you as its newest members and our hope is that you remain connected with your alma mater and with the Alumni Federation. We are so proud of your accomplishments and we are honored to call you alumni. While you may no longer be a student at Nichols State University, you will forever be part of the Nichols family and it is important to remember that. The Nichols Alumni Federation will always be there for you, to support you and to welcome you home. Reach out to us, we'd love to hear how you're doing. Congratulations class of 2020. Welcome to the alumni family. Thank you all for those kind messages to our spring 2020 graduates. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank the faculty and staff of Nichols State University who have dedicated their professional lives to making this institution a place of excellence and achievement and a place focused on your growth, opportunity and success. We will now have the presentation of honors by Dr. Todd Keller, Vice Provost. Nichols State University recognizes graduates who have completed their studies with honors and distinction. At this time, we would like to introduce those students to you. Undergraduate baccalaureate students in the College of Education and Behavioral Sciences who have completed their degree requirements with a perfect 4.0 grade point average are awarded the President's Medal of Honor a memento to always remind them of their accomplishments. Those students are Katie M. Bozegard, Cami R. Guidry, and Jordan L. Morvant. Undergraduate baccalaureate students who have completed their degree requirements with at least a 3.9 grade point average are awarded the status of summa cum laude with highest honor. Those students include Katie M. Bozegard, Cami R. Guidry, Megan E. Henshaw, Christy M. Lagrange, and Jordan L. Morvant. 
Those undergraduate baccalaureate students who have completed their degree requirements with a grade point average between 3.7 to 3.899 are awarded the status of magna cum laude with great honor. Those students are Janie C. Beard, Cole D. Campo, Caitlin J. Dupre, Kayla L. Falgu, Courtney R. Kern, and Laura A. Nolasco. Those undergraduate students having completed the degree requirements with a grade point average between 3.5 to 3.699 are awarded the status of cum laude with honor. Those students are Daniel W. Ashe, Haley E. Adams, Robert V. Blakely, Brianna E. Corto, Jenny B. Falcon, Dominique M. Horning, and Rachel A. Sudam. The University Honors Award is bestowed upon students who have completed the advanced curriculum of the University Honors Program, which includes opportunities for international study abroad and for original research opportunities in their chosen field of study. These students have completed at least 24 hours of honors coursework, including a public defense of their honors thesis research. In the College of Education, that student is Megan Henshaw. And finally, graduate students who earn an overall grade point average of 4.0 in all courses pursued toward their graduate degree are recognized for this achievement as an honor graduate. Those students in the College of Education and Behavioral Sciences include Crystal Bro, Alexis M. Dubois, Tiffany L. Dufren, Jennifer A. Guillot, Alexis B. Abair, Tiffany J. Keeler, Kaylee E. Kripinovich, Carly L. Neil, Iona Papa, and Emily E. Weimer. We invite the graduates in the College of Education and Behavioral Sciences to stand at home in the presence of those with you as we confer your degrees. President Kloon, these students have met the requirements of the faculty in their respective programs of study for these degrees. I recommend that you confer upon these candidates the degrees of Specialist in School Psychology, Master of Arts, Master of Arts in Teaching, Master of Education, Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, and Associate of Science as it pertains to their program of study. Of note, the Specialist in School Psychology program, the highest degree awarded at Nichols, consists of 72 hours of study at the graduate level, which is completed by each candidate over a minimum of three years. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Supervisors for the University of Louisiana System as President of Nichols State University, I confer upon each of you the degrees of Specialist in School Psychology, Master of Arts, Master of Arts in Teaching, Master of Education, Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, and Associate of Science, as it appears on your diploma with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining thereto. The Bridge to Independence program at Nichols State University provides students with life, social, and leadership skills needed for future employment and independent living. The Nichols Bridge program is certified in the state of Louisiana and provides peer mentorship and support services to help students be successful. Today we have three students completing the bridge program and receiving their certificate of completion. They are Grant Daniel Setatal, Haley E. Gettys, and Clay M. Westerman. Congratulations to these Bridge to Independent students. Please join me in congratulating and celebrating each of the following graduates and certificate completers from the College of Education and Behavioral Sciences. Good morning. 
I am Dr. Scott Rademacher, Dean of the College of Education and Behavioral Sciences. Congratulations to the graduates of the College of Education and Behavioral Sciences. Receiving the degree of Specialist in School Psychology in the Department of Psychology and Counseling, Alexa Elise Austin, Crystal Marie Bro, Honore M. Conish, Shelby Lee Dale, Alexis Bordeaux Ebert, Jordan Michelle Richard, Aaron Celeste Simmons, Stephen C. Stroud. Receiving the degree of a Master of Arts in Clinical Mental Health Counseling, Alexis Marie Dubois, Krishada Armand Jackson, Alexandra Elizabeth Lorraine. Receiving a degree of a Master of Arts in Teaching from the Department of Teacher Education, Ian Paul Benoit, Lauren Verrett Bro, Lori Lane Gidry Coleman, Alicia Sue Harper, Hannah Stegman Lecomte. Receiving the degree of a Master of Education from the Department of Teacher Education, Brianna Isabel Balderis, Erin Claire Bechnel, Chelsea Bryant, De Janeiro Ingrid Vivian Cooper, Lindsay M. Crowdus, Tiffany Dufresne Curol, Lisa Clark Daniels, Matthew Brian Farrell, Courtney Angel Gotro, Jennifer Ann Guillot, Tiffany Janae Keeler, Kaylee Elizabeth Krapenovich, Ashley Danielle Lawrence, Alexis Lasline Manoa, Kaylee Elizabeth Martin, Lynn Shakesnyder Miller, Carrie Lee Ann Neal, Iona Papa, Kevin Michael Rissinger, Casey Faith Rogers, Glenn Stephen Saline Jr., Amber Deshawn Washington, Emily Elizabeth Weimer. Receiving a degree of a Bachelor of Arts in Psychology from the Department of Psychology and Counseling, Daniel Atchi Jr., Haley Elizabeth Adams, Janie Shason Beard, Michael Joseph Binder Jr., Robert Victor Blakely, Arrington Ramon Blanchard, Cole David Campo, Rebecca Lynn Cazes, Nora Lee Sihan, Sky Lynn Chason, Blair Emily Duplantis, Kayla Lynn Falgut, Morrison Ariana Hamilton, Megan Elizabeth Henshaw, Elizabeth Michelle Mack, Rebecca Reed, Lee Catherine Rodriguez, Brittany Kate Steeb, Tammy Marie Trahan. Receiving a degree of a Bachelor of Science in Education from the Department of Teacher Education, Birth to Five Early Intervention, Special Education, Carrie Jo Alums, Shelby Lynn Benoit, Katie Marie Bozigard, Caitlin Jordan Dupree, Jenny Bordeaux Falcon, Cassie Nicole Grirar, Haley Elizabeth Go, Courtney Renee Kern, Adrian Marie Landry, Caitlin Annette Rivette. Receiving a degree of a Bachelor of Science in Elementary Education 1 to 5 certification, Brianna Elizabeth Corto, Holly Lynn Crabtree, Chastity Nicole Duval, Cami Ray Guidry, 
Misty Rose Johnson, Christy Marie Lagrange. Receiving a degree of a Bachelor of Science in General Family and Consumer Sciences, Miley Claire Blanchard, Kenyatta Nicole Evans, Chanika K. Gray, Dominique Marie Horning, Christina Michelle Morales, Deshaila Yorel Rainey, Rachel Mitch Suidem, Caitlin Ann Torres, Trang Thuy Tran, Grace M. Wong, Janae N. Ward, Jesse Lynn Wilson, Claire Alexandra Yates. Receiving a degree of a Bachelor of Science in Human Performance Education from the Department of Teacher Education, Brandon Michael Cole. Receiving a degree of a Bachelor of Science in Secondary Education, Peyton James Acosta, Justin Michael Gidros, Jordan Lee Morva, Laura Alicia Nolasco, Gage Nicholas Ordoin, Hannah Elizabeth Smith, Joseph Anthony Tardo. Receiving a degree of an associate in developmental and preschool management, Lacey Renee Adams, Carrie Joe Allams, Shelby Lynn Benoit, Katie Marie Bozegard, Caitlin Jordan Dupree, Jenny Bordeaux Falcon, Cassie Nicole Girard, Haley Elizabeth Gill, Courtney Renee Kern, Adrian Marie Landry, Caitlin Annette Rive. Congratulations again and welcome to our new Nichols alumni. Thank you and have a wonderful morning. The Bridge to Independence Certificate Program is a two-year cohort that provides continued academics, independent living, and job readiness skills for students with intellectual disabilities. Our 2020 graduates are Grant Daniel Setatal, Haley Elizabeth Geddes, Clay Michael Westerman. Congratulations, graduates. As we conclude the degree conferral ceremony today, I want to offer sincere thanks and congratulations to all of the spring 2020 graduates. To the faculty, again, we thank you for a job well done. To the parents, spouses, family members, and loved ones of the graduates, a special thank you and congratulations to you as well. This concludes our degree conferral ceremony for today. And remember, when the time is right, we look forward to celebrating you in a full commencement ceremony. Please safely enjoy your celebrations today and don't forget to post your celebratory photos and videos using the hashtags shown here.